Good morning, party people. Welcome to Breakdown. I'm Nathan Texas Boy Johnny. You had to do it while you were sitting down. I was putting my phone away, but he got me. He got me. Anyway. In his defense, he was actually doing research for once. I was. Hey, so, wow, Ozzy Osbourne, <laughs> still alive, mystery already, mystery number one, uh, and still making music. He's dropped a new track. Uh, it came out a couple of weeks by the time this drops. Uh, Patient number nine, featuring Jeff Beck, uh, who is a guitarist, a very famous English guitarist. I know the name, I don't know what... He, where was he come from? from? Where's he go? Where's he come from? Cotton, Cotton Eye Jeff. Nice. Thank you. Um, but yeah, who is he in terms of like what musical landscape would I know him from? Um, or have I not, have I interrupted your research? And you I didn't don't know. I don't know. Like, cause he's just, what would you know him <laughs> Here's from? Here's the thing. Johnny yeah. knew that I was going to call him Texty Boy Johnny. So he put his phone away before he could finish doing his research. He's just one of the most respected guitarists in rock music i don't what anyway yeah like yeah. he's got he's just been on i know the a name. lot of a lot of songs okay so i can't say i was ever a huge fan maybe this will sway me so i wonder if he's got um back on as the main guitarist in this or whether he um he still has a band with him and this is just going to have a feature so that's interesting i'm just interested to see how ozzy osbourne still sounds. The last thing we would have heard from him would have been the feature he did with Post Malone. Doesn't feature, that's off his album. That last album was great. No, no, no. Ozzy featured on Post Malone's song. No, Post Malone featured on an Ozzy song, didn't he? No. It was Wasn't Ozzy on Post. Wasn't that whole Ozzy album? I no. feel like you're wrong here. Gotta no, pull that, out my phone! That Take What You Want From Me song or whatever it's called. It was on Post's last album. Uh, this is going to be one of the very few times that I may actually be correct. Albums, albums, down to earth, go through there, kiss me through. Hmm, no, that's Aussie. Go to post now. Yeah, but that was in twenty twenty one. He had one uh, of my point was he had an album recently. He had an album no, but that was a that was wasn't that an anniversary album? Oh, yeah. is that what it was? Yes, yeah. it wasn't new stuff. Okay, cool. So yeah. So his last ordinary man, it's a raid featuring Post Malone in 2020. Thank you, fucking very much. No, but that's a different song. That's that I'm... I'm not saying it's the same song. I'm oh. saying Ozzy Post Malone featured on this, and I listened to. Oh, okay. So this I was talking album. about a different song. When was the when did the Post album? Well, did we do Straight to Hell? That song back. No. Oh, there was a film clip for that and everything. It was really fun. Oh. Is this what it came from? Oh shit! How did I miss this? I need to check this shit out. And Ozzy sounded sick. He sounds like Ozzy. Yeah. All the time. Anyway, yeah. point is, I kind of give you, you might be right that Ozzy was on a, a Post Malone song, but I was yes. saying that Ozzy had an album out not that long ago. Because okay. you were like, first thing he's released in ages apart from that one song, and I was saying he had an album out. Okay. Had cool. him on it. Fucking love bickering. <laughs> 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 Two old married men just squabbling over Ozzy Osbourne. Anyway, uh, thanks for, if you're still here, thank you. I'm We're going to jump into the track now. This, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, like, subscribe if you dare. Uh, check out the merchandise if you want to help us out. The link to the official video will be down below in the description, as well as all our Spotify links, donations links, TikTok links, Instagram links, all that sort of stuff. All the reasons Johnny's wrong. You know, they're all down there.
Yeah. Whoa. Sick. Man, his voice sounds fucking great. It really does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's no, really cool. It's like, his vocals sound great. It, it feels like he's moving it around. I was going to say, he actually has huge range in this. Even just like taking it from one octave up to the next in that chorus. And then, and then that like, back down, you know, yeah, drop yeah. down. And then that, why? Like that real high yeah, wave steps in there. Yeah, yeah it's, he's yeah. playing with it a lot. It also sounds like he's got less, I guess, like reverb on his vocals than, than I'm used to. And it sounds like it's a more genuine and direct Aussie sound like yeah. vocal sound which is cool uh, I'm loving the music video the sort of half real half animated is cool um, yeah I'm very surprised at how good his vocals are sounding this is sick as I said the last album was actually really good and Johnny's an idiot for not listening the visuals that came with the solo there that very like trippy guitar lines that match with the visuals and it, yeah yeah and it fully matched with the production as well on the guitar like I actually really am enjoying the production of the guitars on this it's it's a little bit different it's not like that sort of over the top full like you know martial metal distortion sort yeah, of thing yeah. it's, it's got a little bit more of that gritty rock vibe it kind of has a bit of a throwback vibe like it sounds like older Aussie yeah yeah for sure Those lead runs are so sick. Oh. 
That was really fun. That was really fun. Hey, uh, run with me on this one. That almost... My run's got less and less enthusiastic every time. <laughs> I wish you'd stop doing that. Uh, you know what it gave me a bit of a vibe of, especially towards the end, and a little bit in the vocal tone as well of Ozzy? It was kind of like a serious, tenacious D. Oh! Can you feel yeah, that? Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah, 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 fully. I feel like... The thing is, Ozzy, Sabbath, that whole thing, they are the godfathers of metal. Yeah. Any really. hard rock, they really have such an influence on that. Yeah. And so I feel like while we go, yeah, yeah you can hear that, it's probably because Tenacious D got influenced by him originally. By people like him. So yeah, yeah. that's just kind of like that weird full circle thing. Full circle homage, yeah. No, I um, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was cool. And again, like I'm very, very surprised about the range in his vocals. There was a lot of super high harmonies over it as well. Yeah. Um, and it's like, it's weird because as these artists are getting older, you're sort of kind of expecting them to not sound great. And, you know, people like him, Alice Cooper, like uh, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons from Kiss, it's like Bruce Dickinson from Maiden, they get older and then their voices get to that aged sound, I guess, but then they don't tend to get any worse. I think he almost sounds better than ever. You know what? I'm with you. I, I, I just think he sounds like a more accomplished vocalist. Yeah, now. fully. Yeah, I mean, he's had plenty of time. And he's also he's way just... less fucked up now. He's able to actually focus on being a better musician rather than just being Aussie in all aspects. Yeah, I suppose that's probably got a lot to do with it. Yeah. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments uh, if you're an Aussie fan. If you checked out the last album or if you didn't check out the last album, go do it. Don't be like Johnny. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to now after hearing that snippet for sure. So. Yeah, it had heaps of features on it too. It was really cool. I'm going to pull it back up because I want you guys to, to know this. It had had Elton John on one, wow. had Post Malone on one, and then Post Malone, Aussie, and Travis Scott on Travis one. Scott? Yeah. Oh no, that Take What You Want. That's the song. So that was on this album as well. I guess it was this album and I was right. I'm pretty sure it's on Post's album as well, man. What was Post's album? Uh, you know, bigger the one with this. circles and stuff. I don't know if to know that. Hollywood's Bleeding? Yes. Yeah. Wasn't that too? So we're both right. That's weird that it's on... Yeah, oh, that's the weird. one with Travis Scott too. Yeah. That's weird. Interesting. Cool though. So we were both right. Um, yeah, as, as an Aussie fan, where does that rank for you? How do you think Aussie is sounding? Uh, if you're not an Aussie fan or a Black Sabbath fan, firstly, what are you doing? Uh, secondly, is that enough for you to maybe go back and check out some of Ozzy Osbourne and Black Sabbath's back catalogue? What about their black catalogue? I've got nothing. Yeah, I've, I've got nothing to that. But well done. Um, <laughs> they just have a black catalogue. It's just just all black albums. It's racist. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Metallica black. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs>